And today, something very exciting. I'm going to unbox, sort of, although it's out of the box, um, the compact gear set from Wild Gears. And I'll post a link um, below the video if you're watching this on YouTube. I'll post a link to where you can read more about Wild Gears and find links to the to the website and where to order it. Uh, this is the compact gear set. It's the smallest one they offer. A lot of them are like twice as <laughs> twice as wide and twice as high um, larger sets. But this is a compact one that I could see carrying this along in your backpack easily. And it's got lots of different gears. Now wild gears are cut are laser cut on demand by Ponoco, which, which is a company that custom laser cuts all kinds of materials. And um, one of these is acrylic. So this is made out of um, a, a clear acrylic. And uh, you can also order different colors too, fluorescent colors, but this one is clear. And they come covered with layers of paper and stickiness. So I'll take this apart and you'll see how it is. Uh, this is some tape that was attaching it to the inside of the packing material. I'll take that off. And it's bringing off some paper, but that's okay. The top layer of paper. Let's take it right off. This would be like an entry-level Wild Gear set, I would say. Something for everybody here, and it's got lots of different wheels in it. Spirograph sets are made differently. Spirograph, spirograph pieces, both the old ones and the new ones, are cast in plastic. Wild Gears is more expensive, and that's why I call it Spirograph for Grown Ups. Um, it's more expensive because it's custom made, and maybe it's not for everybody, but I have been enjoying it a lot. So there, I just took off, I just removed the paper. It's a crinkly noise, drowns out my voice. I'll just put this away. Now, it's got a, a backing sheet there, so I'm going to take that off. Aha, uh -huh, and there's all kinds of little bits falling out, like the gears are falling out. And so are the holes, the pen holes. Each of those is laser cut. Look at all these little bits. You don't have to do it this way, you could do it more slowly, one piece at a time, but... Now, some of these little bits are really important to keep, and I'll show you why. So for now, just keep them all. See, some of them have holes in them, and those are the important ones. And some of them are just solid, and I haven't found a use for them, but if you do, let me know. Because I've saved them anyway from Pat previous sets, just to be sure. Okay, no, oh, there's some. See, these ones are little, like little rings, and they will be useful. So you want to save some of those for sure. Okay, so there's the, oh, the backing set. And I think I've got all the, all the rings. Now, here are our gears. Now you have a frame, and this is very important to keep. These are your larger wheels, your rings. That we're going to draw designs inside. And so let's just start. I'm just going to curb my, uh, I'm just going to indulge my impatience here and start with this wheel, which is slightly triangular shaped. Kind of a rounded triangle. Um, the spirograph triangle shape is more angular. This one, the Wild Gears ones, are more rounded. Um, in some of the sets you can buy different degrees of roundedness. So I'm just going to hold this down for now. I'm not going to get um, <coughs> any putty. And I peeled the paper off one side and that will allow it to go more smoothly on the on the uh, paper I'm drawing on. And I'm going to take a pen and just draw. 
Ah, well, there you have it. It, it makes the complete design um, in two circles. So, well, however, number, the number of teeth on this is half of the number of teeth in this larger circle, which looks like it's, aha, 96. So this wheel is, as it says there, right, right there, 48. So it went once around, and then it uh, came back again, and so we have a two-pointed design. Now, I just budged that, so I'm just going to play with some of the other holes. Why don't I play with the, the flat side and see what different kind of shape it makes. There, it's a little pointier. I'll, I'll do it this way. The flat side gives you a pointier point and more bulges on the inside. So there we go. Now here's a square wheel. So I'm just going to hold this down right now and I'm going to take a hole that's pointing toward a corner of the square wheel and see how this looks. It's kind of got a bumpiness. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! Well, that's interesting. Let's just try it in a smaller wheel. Right here. I'll, now I'm going to use the same hole in a smaller wheel. Can you see? Um, whoops. Uh, I'm just doing a little exploration here. So see the bumpy shape, and when you make a design towards the point, it gives you this kind of boxed off point of, of the wheel. There. Interesting. Okay. Nice. Have a lot of fun with that square. Let's just uh, take a hole now that's um, it's on a flat side. Let's explain now. So that when you use a hole on the flat side, you get a pointier pattern. Oh, did I miss something? Oh, okay. There. So those, there are two designs depending on whether you choose a hole in your square wheel that is pointing at the corner or that's on the flat side. So, so there's a square wheel. There's also some asymmetrical holes too, so you can explore that. Um, now let's uh, move over to uh, this. This wheel says it's uh, 60, number 60, hmm, 60 teeth. The, because these are laser cut, they're laser cut from a flat sheet of acrylic. So all the markings have to be cut into the, the acrylic with laser uh, with the laser cutter. So this one says 60 and it's kind of it's kind of faint to see it there, but it, it shows. Hold it up to the light. So I'm just going to see how this works. And uh, this would be a good opportun opportunity to show you how the parallel lines are made that Wild Gears is so special with. Um, Aaron Bleakley who invented wild gears has created them he has derived this way of making parallel lines and how you do that is you use these different size holes and then these inserts remember when i told you to save those holes they can be used for making parallel lines so i'll just show how this works now with first i'm drawing with the big hole round and round and now I'm going to put the donut in the hole and draw it with the pen in the smaller hole now 
look at that, parallel lines, which you cannot get with spirograph. Now, there, there's three sizes of holes here, and there are different uh, rings with pen size. That one's too small even for this little pen, but I'm sure I can find one that's uh, big enough here. Well, I'll do it again with one of these medium-sized holes. And it's moving a little smoother, and now I'm going to put that in the little donut in there and draw it again. And there you have parallel lines that are even closer together on the design. So that's how you make parallel lines with wild gears. There's a whole lot more rings here, which can all be used as inner wheels or outer wheels. This set has wheels that you can use for the wheel within the wheel, um, signing games that I like so much. So now I've got a large wheel, a smaller, a middle-sized wheel with an off-center ring in the middle of it and a smaller wheel in the middle, and I've taken off the backing paper on the surface that's on, on the white paper. So let's see what this does. Ah! Check that out. That's neat, and it's a little asymmetrical, probably because I didn't have things lined up um, lined up with a point starting right at the beginning. I'm going to make another one. I think these will vary according to the relative angles of things. There, look at that. Now you can make some pretty cool designs if you uh, work with this. If the shape varies as you depending on where the small wheel is in relation to the edge of the biggest wheel, then you can move a tooth over and get some very, very interesting results. So I'll take that now. I'm just going to move it one tooth over. Do it again. And one tooth over, so I'm moving the small wheel relative to the small ring that I'm using. So you see that the hole, I'm starting with the hold is closest to the edge of the smallest wheel, but now it's getting, I'm starting it off further away from the very nearest point to the largest ring. And we're getting this wonderful asymmetric design. I'm just going to stop it here and you can see the sort of crazy things you can do with with that technique, which is something you can't do with Spirograph at all. Now here's wheel number 24, and if I use it inside this triangle 48, of course 24 is half of 48, so I'm just going to get a two-pointed design. But see it's a little, see how asymmetrical it is? Sort of. Because the, the ring is a different shape, it's not round. Now I'm going to move it one to the right, one tooth to the right, draw again, one more tooth to the right, draw again. You see, there's so many variations on what you can do. With, uh, with these wild gears. And there's so many wheels here that I haven't even looked at yet. Now I'm going to take wheel number 32, which I just took the backing paper off, and try it in number 
48, and let's see what we get. We get a little three-pointed design. Okay. Now, again, because this is a triangle, it's going to give us a slightly different shape as we go along. Pretty cute little triangle. And you can really move into asymmetry if you explore the angles, ha ha ha. Now we've taken the paper off um, most, at least one side of all the wheels, and let's just see some more things we can do with it. Here's a large wheel inside the largest wheel in the frame. I'll draw the big hole. Aha! Nice four-figure design. I'll put a donut inside that and draw it again. Then I could put in a fatter donut. See, it's got the same outside diameter. If I can get this out with a fatter donut and draw it again. I end up with three parallel lines. Now, if you have some putty, you could be using putty to attach this to the paper, and that's what I would do. Right now, I'm just exploring and playing and showing you what's in this compact gear set. And I'm using some of my favorite markers, the Stabilo Point 88, but you could use anything, really. Uh, here's a, it's a Uniball Vision pen. They're good, too. Um, let's try another wheel in this. Filling up my page here. Filling up my page. Let's see what we've got. Let's try. Let's try make a, making a sequence here with these wheels. See how the wheels are all in a row. They're not in a spiral shape as with the spirograph usually. So, mm, let's. Ah, it's a two. Um, again, too. So Aaron has really taken taken the numbers that would create smaller um, smaller numbers of points in each design overall. Okay, so I just drew four with these four holes in a row. It makes it faster and quite easy. Now, if I line up this other row of smaller holes, I get the intermediate lines. So, that makes seven. That's interesting. Let's try this uh, same wheel in the biggest one, see how many points we get. That was eight, right? Now I'll draw all the holes in a row that are lined up with each other. Four. Now I'm going to line up the other row of smaller holes, and I'll just use a different color pen here. I'll use the, the blue and draw the intermediate holes. I love experimenting with color and parallel lines. This one is looking like ribbon candy right now. There, quick as a wink. That's a nice design. Now one thing that Erin has been interested in is what happens when you use um, a ring that's not asymmetrical, a symmetrical ring inside a larger one. First of all, this ring has a hole in it here, so I'm just going to draw the design. It's a fairly large ring, making a six-sided design. Now what happens if I put um, a wheel inside the ring? What will happen? Oh, 
Well, I have a different number of points. What would happen if I was just using the wheel by itself in the larger ring? There are four figure designs. So you can see the potential here for exploring all kinds of combinations and making your own unique patterns. You really, really have to it's really for experimenting. This is not for, there's no instruction booklet that comes with this. It's for you to explore. This is for creative people who like to explore. So that's getting an, an interesting pattern. I'm, experience leads you to try different things. So there's a pattern using a ring and a larger ring and sometimes using a wheel inside of that. So there you have it, the compact gear set from Wild Gears by Erin Bleakley. It's got a whole lot of fun in a compact package. It's seven inches by seven inches. And some of these pieces have the backing paper removed, both sides, and some just have it removed from one side. And on the side here are all these little donut shapes that you can use for making parallel lines, which is an unusual thing and an invention of Aaron's. And it's all the frame, the holes in the frame become rings. The holes in the rings become other rings. You can, there are wheels with asymmetrically placed holes within them. There are lots of smaller wheels, so you can play with the wheel within a wheel design. There are rings, so you can play wheel within a ring. There's a square wheel, and there's a triangular-ish wheel. And there's all these different donuts for to insert into the larger holes to produce parallel designs like, like this. There are rows of holes on many of the wheels that can be used in creative ways. For example, in the triangle, this row of holes on a triangle provides very quick access to the next hole without having to to move things. So I'm holding I'm holding the ring down very firmly because I did not put putty down. Look at that. That is very interesting. You can go right across the triangle to get from the flat side to the pointed side. And the points are coming out on the side. This is. Ooh. This is very interesting. <laughs> Look at that. That's something. If you want an introduction to Wild Gears, uh, it's a good starter kit. The other sets are physically larger, so you really want to have a place to put them in your house and dedicate space to them. But this would uh, allow you to explore a lot of the things that Wild Gears can do within a small space. Here are some more things I've done with the compact gear set in the days since I've 
unboxed the uh, set in the earlier part of this video. Exploring different techniques and wheels rather systematically and I will be doing more videos about this in the future. So all these, this is just the beginning of things you can do with this compact gear set. It's really very versatile and has a very good combination of gears and wheels for you to explore. Thanks for watching this video. I have lots more information about Spirograph and Wild Gears at spirographicart.com, which is my website, and there's lots of videos here. So if you subscribe, if you're looking at this on YouTube, you can hit the subscribe button, and then you will get an email whenever I put out a new video.